The universal standard has always been to take the grip with the lead hand above the trail, but there are so many good players that do the opposite. We've seen it with Spieth and putting, so many players when hitting pitch shots, and Will Lowry, among many others, that do it in their full swing. I had the pleasure of meeting Will this summer in Lake Tahoe, and we were able to actually do a lesson, and I got to see it in action firsthand how well he does with that lead hand actually low. And what I like for this, for players that are very trail arm dominant, get really early here, I like the feeling of that lead hand and lead arm doing a little bit more of the pulling, a little bit more of the power involved in the lead side. And so what I want you to try to do is take that lead hand low and make some swings. Really feel like that lead side is creating a little bit more of that speed. For those of you that are too trail arm dominant, I think this is a terrific exercise. Back, through. What I also like is that at the top, it tends to make it a little bit easier for that trail arm to get underneath the club versus out here. So we'll do it one more time. Lead hand low, back, through. All right, now what I want you to do, take your normal grip, assuming that it's lead hand high, but keep some of that feel of the dominant side being on that lead side. I'm gonna go ahead and take my setup, feel that same thing going back and coming through, and go ahead and flush it. God, that felt so good. Thank you, Will Lowry, for that feel. So if coordinating your lead side and your trail is your fault, I've got the fix. Yes, that hurt just as much as it sounded. And that brings me to the point here about lead versus trail from the knees down and how to use them properly in the golf swing rather than using them as an impact bag as I did. So I have an alignment stick across my knees. I really want you to focus on what the knees and feet are feeling going back and feeling coming down. A great idea or simple concept is just to feel like what the backswing feels is a smaller version of what the downswing feels. So you're gonna feel some rolling of weight to each side. You're gonna feel this lead knee coming in as this trail knee goes kind of up and back. That's super important to understand. And then you're gonna feel more of that in the opposite direction as you come through. So what I wanna show here, I'm gonna take my setup. I was fortunate to talk to Michael Neff at Gears, really dive deep into what the knees and feet are doing. And so what I want you to take note of, if my knees are somewhat square to slightly open, which is what we see with a lot of the tour players, you're gonna get somewhere between 20 to 30 degrees of rotation going back, and then you're gonna get about twice that coming down. So as I come down, you can kind of see that there's an angle here. That by impact is gonna be much more substantial. At the same time, what you're also gonna notice that is if you only go back, let's say 20 degrees, even if you're 20 degrees open at impact, that's a 40 degree change. So that's a lot more lower body activation, foot activation on the downswing than you were on the backswing. Now, a great drill with this, if you get too far from the inside, I want you to feel like you go back and you're able to still get open, but hit the ball without hitting the stick. So this is gonna be a great way for those of you that get too stuck to still have great knee work and hit the ball. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit one here. So that's gonna be a little bit more of a pull, pull fade for those of you that get too stuck. And then vice versa, for those of you that tend to get a little bit too out, a great feeling I think for people is to take your setup Go ahead and go back. You can see that diagonal there. This trail knee kind of went up and back. This lead knee went in. And from that diagonal, we're gonna try to go the other way. And I want the club to actually trail the stick. So by the time I get to impact, I'm gonna feel like the club's behind the stick. And you can really see how open I am here. That's gonna give me more of a feel of coming from the inside. That's gonna allow me to still open up. I'm gonna take this out when I actually hit this one. And that's gonna be the general lead and trail feel. So set up, club inside as I open up. That felt super good for me, great drill right there. So understanding how the knees work, it's okay for this lead knee to come in, it's okay for this trail knee to kind of come up and back, and then we're just gonna get more of it as we come down. So I absolutely love that drill for understanding how the knees turn back and through in the golf swing, and this next drill that I have is terrific for understanding how that trail leg alone has a little bit of extension going back, and what I want you to do here is I want you to put a head cover on alignment stick just behind your knee. So what you see here, I'm gonna go ahead and take my setup and I'm actually gonna touch the head cover. So I wanna make sure I set up where I'm actually touching it right behind my trail knee right here. And then I wanna scoot up just about one inch. The goal here is to make sure that as we go back, we get a little bit of an extension of this trail side. This trail knee is gonna float back a little bit and we actually wanna touch this as we kinda of get to the top and then we're gonna get away from it. So it's touch it as you get to the top, get away from it as you come down touch it at the top, get away from it coming down. 
What I don't see with the best players is anyone actually adding a lot of flex as they go back. They might be adding flex in the transition or adding flex at the end of the backswing, but they're not going to be adding flex as they go back. That restricts hip turn. It makes it way harder to hit the ball solid. So what I want us to do, touch it, scoot away an inch, take your setup. I want you to feel touch at the top, leave it coming down, and go ahead and hit one solid. God, that felt so good. I felt it going back, and then I felt myself leaving it coming down. So this is an excellent feel to get that trail leg to extend and then go back to a flex as you start down. And getting the timing of that, coordinating that lead and trail side is absolutely key. So last drill here, one of my favorites, such a fun concept, such a fun idea, and something I just loved doing as a kid was popping a pinata. So many cool things could come out of it. Who knows what you're gonna get. Hopefully here we get some solid contact and a straight ball flight. So what I want you to do, I want you to take your setup and I want you just to imagine that on the downswing, there's a pinata between your knees. And as you get to impact and as you come through, you're trying to pop the pinata. So we're gonna wait until about halfway through to try to pop that pinata, but we wanna make sure that as we're hitting it, we're really trying to approach and get those knees to squeeze together. So I'm gonna have this drill kind of made up here in my mind, got the pinata right here. I'm gonna take my setup, back, start down, pop the pinata. Back, start down, pop the pinata. And what you see with a lot of the poor ball strikers, as they come down, their knees separate. There's a big hole here. We're not getting any candy, we're not getting anything that we want out of this pinata if we're doing that. So we wanna make sure that they come together, we're popping that pinata, and those thighs are squeezing together. I'm gonna go ahead and hit one here, to pop that pinata. I really like Twix, Butterfingers, and Baby Roos. Hopefully that's what's inside of this one. Felt solid, legs are together. I'm gonna pick up my Baby Ruth and eat it right now. So that's exactly what we're feeling. Leg work is so important. Knees, feet, trail lead, all coordinated correctly. And up next, we got Tommy Fleetwood in the Swing Lab. Man, that felt so good. I absolutely love my P770s. When I use my lower body correctly, I get the most out of these irons. To purchase these irons and the rest of the Stealth 2 line, visit tailormadegolf.com.